quick note before we begin. This video is going to be for animation errors, but we'll also be comparing and contrasting the Minecraft and League of Legends versions. Right off the bat, the lighting does not match that of the League of Legends video, where there are heavy flares obscuring the screen. But in Enchanted Mobs video, they are only dinky little lights. Not to mention the light in Enchanted Mobs video comes from the bottom corners, yet Leaks comes mostly from the left. Enchanted Mob's version of Evelyn is clipping into the hood of the car just a little. Also, Evelyn in the Minecraft version is missing a key aspect of her character design. Her claws! I think we need to bring back the Seth Sin counter because someone didn't add fingers to the female rig. Also, also, Evelyn is missing the fishnet patterns on her arms, straying from her design in the original animation. Now, I know some of you might be saying, Oh, but then it wouldn't be pixel perfect, blah, blah, blah. Well, just look at the car. If the car can look like that, then our arms can have a few stripes, thank you very much. As the camera zooms out in the Enchanted Mob video, we can see that the grill and hood are one model, while the rest of the car is in separate chunks. Because of this, behind the grill is a block that doesn't fully cover it off. Yes, I know, it's nitpicky, but that's what we do here. We welcome you to Animation Sins. Stay a while, we got free cookies. Also, the headlights on Leak's car model are front facing, while Enchanted Mob's car headlights face upwards. This led to a big lighting difference between the two videos, though I do appreciate not being blinded by Enchanted Mob's version. How is Evelyn supposed to fit in those cars anyway? They are way too small compared to the size of their characters. Also, Leak textured the floor to look somewhat realistic. Although smooth, there are scuffs and scratches, but Enchanted Mob's floor is only smooth. Even just a little bit of scuff would have helped immensely as the way the light hits the ground between these two videos is very different. Also, there are more cars shown in Enchanted Mob's version of the shot than Leaks. It's like they're all packed up in a tiny sardine can. Or should I say, a cardine can? Eh? Eh? Oh, come on! Another vast set of differences taking away from the Leak video, where Enchanted Mob's ground is unscathed and perfect, while the original's ground is more detailed with darker orange road lines, wear and tear, brighter lighting and exaggerated silhouettes, and greater depth. The walk cycles are not the same here, mostly thanks to the bulky Minecraft models. The first step is unfinished in the leak video, while the first step in the Enchanted Mob video is taken by the foot in the background. Also, normally we'd sin how the legs clip through one another, but it would be impossible to animate this scene without clipping. Instead, we'll send for the missing road marks in the back of the scene between the League and Enchanted Mob video. The LED display is taller and not as wide in the Enchanted Mob video. Also, the lighting is darker in the Enchanted Mob video than it is in the League video. This is a running comment with Minecraft videos, especially Enchanted Mobs. They're too dark. There needs to be a way to lighten them up for more clarity. When the letters start to come onto the screen, Enchanted Mob gives themselves a disadvantage by making the starting pixels higher than the League video. The way the text glitches out does not match up. At first they were timed in sync, then Enchanted Mob's words became too fast and skipped one glitch animation entirely. Enchanted Mob's glitches are more pinkish orange, similar in saturation to the original text. League's glitches are a faded yellow orange, allowing the original text to shine through the glitches when it's present. Although Enchanted Mob's screen starts off further away from the screen than League's, it definitely ends off closer than League's. Also, the background of League's video is just overall brighter than Enchanted Mob's video, specifically in the part of the cart further away. The lighting issues occur again, although now there's a model issue. Enchanted Mob's top lights are far too thick, which pushes the handles more or less directly above the seating. Not to mention, League's video has a much more dynamic camera angle here, making the subway car truly feel that it's long. As the camera moves in Enchanted Mob's video, the only thing that changes is the screen all the way at the tippy top of the scene. This feels like an establishing shot rather than a moving subway car experiencing chaos like in League's video. Something that I think is better about the Enchanted Mob video in the dark scene, the blue haze is more noticeable adding to the depth. But League's video has the screens with the text showing while Enchanted Mob's doesn't. League's video comes off as eerie while Enchanted Mob's is just mysterious. Though, when it goes dark, Akali's figure in League's video is almost non-existent, and unless you watch the video frame by frame, you don't notice it. Im's video makes absolutely sure you see her silhouette. Whatever, just take the sin off. The camera angle and lighting of League's gives Akali a powerful feel. She is above the viewer. 
but EM's shot has her own eye level. Leek's shot from subway car to laundromat uses a lens flare for a smoother transition, preparing the viewer for the brighter scene they're about to enter, while Enchanted Mob has the same light but forgets what this is meant for. So it just ends up darkening the scene again, and then transitions. Whoops! Enchanted Mob not only forgot that washing machine doors need handles, but also that there was a label next to said handle. Double sin. Ari in the Enchanted Mob version is not wearing the same shoes as Ari in the League video. While Enchanted Mob does a hard cut to the crew, League has a two frame insert shot before showing them. Also, because of this hard cut that Enchanted Mob does, the moving lighting is faster than it is in League's version. Seriously, two frames could have made the timing of the scene infinitely better. Every frame counts. Oh, goodbye Enchanted Mob models. A couple of things. Enchanted Mob's version of the lighting isn't bright enough, and the Minecraft models, though pretty accurate in posing, are too close together. Had they been spaced out with the camera further away and the background larger to accommodate for the difference in framing, they would have looked properly spaced out. Also, the lack of lighting leaves the girls as silhouettes in the Enchanted Mob video. While in Leagues, you can see their outfits more clearly. They likely did this because the faces are still obscured in Leagues' video, and brightening up the scene would have shown their faces. Enchanted Mob's curves on the focal length cause it to start zooming out before Leagues. One thing Minecraft models fail at is detail. It takes a beautiful, unique sweater, poofy with an embroidered dragon on the back, and turns it into a vague pixel mess that only has the base colors. All the personality of the jacket is just stripped away. Also, on a side note, the hood goes down far too low on the Minecraft model. First, the window spacing in the Enchanted Mob video gets rid of some papers posted in the subway car in the original, making the set look a bit blander. Second, the seat colors in the EM video are so desaturated to the point that, at first pass, they almost look like the same color. Overall, League's shot is way more vibrant, while Enchanted Mobs is super dull, waiting to jump scare you at any moment. Akali's hair clips through her shoulder in Enchanted Mobs video. Why is it that this dragon logo only appears in the dark? It should still be present in the light. Also, the dragon's head is on the hood. Double sin! The lighting scheme between the two videos is now inverted. With League having darkness in the center and lighter on the edges, an Enchanted Mob with a light middle and dark edges. Also, the Enchanted Mob background is far too bright in this instance. The League video makes it darker so there can be a good silhouette of Akali. You might be wondering why this doesn't look quite right. You're missing the pink lighting League has. Kaisa in the Enchanted Mob video is too far away from the camera. I'm pretty sure that her breastplate is paper thin. And Kaisa is too in focus in the first frame. Kaisa's wings need to be tucked in more in Enchanted Mob's video. The gems are also glowing when they shouldn't be. Okay, yeah. Kaisa's breastplate is not even remotely similar. One has a plate chest piece, and the other has a strip of cloth at best. Also, her pants have gold dots on them instead of lines. Kaisa's walk cycle is not synced up. Because of how the camera is positioned, Kaisa looks straight at the camera in Enchanted Mob's video, but is looking slightly up in League's video. Enchanted Mob's Kaisa started off as too far from the camera, and now she's too close. Akali's facial expression, especially her eyebrows, is slightly different. League's Akali has her brows tilted up in the middle, while EM's are more level. Due to the lack of eyeshadow on EM's model, her eyes don't look half closed when they are. And finally, she's not posed in the right spot in the subway car. The camera should be a little bit before the window on the left, not halfway through it. Enchanted Mob's fade to red is 11 frames early. Took them 14 frames once they hit second 22 to get here, but League took 25. Yes, I counted. Also, Enchanted Mob's red screen is a solid red, while League's has some shading and gradients. Eight frames after the red screen, this wither skull is already further away from the same frame on League's video, which allows for focus on the fancy skull and lingers more on it so viewers can better take it in. While EM's Evelyn's car has foam racing seats, League's Evelyn seems to have metal for chairs? Enchanted Mob's Evelyn has smoke puff up behind her as she's putting on her glasses, when Leek has it happen the frame after she puts them on. While Enchanted Mob's smoke covers most of the screen, League's only makes it hazy but leaves everything in sight. 
12 frames faster than League, the car is front and center in front of Giant Evelyn, with much more dull lighting in comparison to League's. Along with the lighting being in different spots at the background, and her glasses are glowing far too bright. Although Evelyn's teeth are in fact a little bit reflective in League's video, they aren't the stark white that they are in Enchanted Mob's video. By the way, I hope nobody intends to drive those Enchanted Mob cars. They're literally so low to the ground that going over anything but a flat surface would immediately damage them. Once again, with Enchanted Mob lacking floor scuffs and prop texture, and the lighting from the car not reaching the same lengths as League's. While League cuts with the headlight shine becoming bigger as it approaches the camera, Enchanted Mobs has a short crossfade. Enchanted Mobs' wall mural looks a little bare compared to League's. I know they can't have the exact same amount of detail, but the least they can do is have more tall grass and trees. It would also help if the locations of the mural matched. This lake is meant to be lower on the wall. Enchanted Mobs' Ari has hair covering one of her eyes, but League doesn't. Also, their lips are different colors. Enchanted Mobs' Ari's mouth is pitch black. They've done tongue models before, so there's really no reason for this. You'd think with such an angular model that Enchanted Mob couldn't possibly mess up remodeling this, right? You, my friend, would be wrong. Enchanted Mob's Ari has no shoulder spikes, just shoulder hugs. Also, circles in Minecraft. Not only is Ari's wrist broken in Enchanted Mob's version of this, but the background image is also far too narrow. It also has a mid-ground and background, while Leaks has a foreground, mid-ground, and background. The background images portray completely different places. Also, the washing machines are too thin. There are no numbers since the machines aren't big enough, and there's an extra laundry basket. Ari seems to be wearing a different shirt than Leaks here as well. Uh, Enchanted Mob forgot that one of the doors in the washing machine needs to be open in the scene. If that door is not open, it will tear apart the very fabric of the universe itself or it will just cause some mold. But still, the lighting here is just dull. League makes things bright and full. Take a note from anime Enchanted Mob, realistic does not always equal interesting. Leagues even make sure that Arvi's tail isn't perfect and it even has little scuffs of life. Each also doesn't have the same indents. League's background is better framed with soft blue, green, red, and yellow chairs and pink lighting around the neon sign. Enchanted Mob's background is distractingly clear with chairs that have the saturation of childlike imagination. Also, Minecraft Ari's hair doesn't go behind her shoulders as it does in League's video. Enchanted Mob cuts to this frame 4 frames after the second starts, while League's video is 14 frames after the second starts. Despite the fact that both these glitch scenes are 46 frames, Enchanted Mob is totally out of sync with League visually. So much is ending on a whole different image than League. Also, the glitch is too tall along with not being the correct color. The Kali's arms are somehow different lengths here. The splatters on the League video are well dispersed and the shoes glow, while Enchanted Mob's video has none. The least they could have done was have a big paint splatter on the ground and leg. League's spray can has dynamic drippings, but all Enchanted Mob did was put a big solid glob of paint on theirs along with putting it too high on the screen. Enchanted Mob? More like Enchanted Glob of, of pain, am, am I right? Enchanted Mob's glow on the mask is far too bright. Leaks has a blue tint to it. In Leaks video, the image is all starting to come together, but Enchanted Mob's video still looks like a garbled mess at this stage. Enchanted Mob's dragon looks like it was drawn in 2D, then had a computer project the lines onto the inside of the subway car, causing this garbled mess. There are even instances where three eyes are visible. League's dragon looks more like it was actually painted into the subway car with a proper understanding of this method. The ender dragon enlarges when it turns white, while League's dragon only barely does so. While Enchanted Mob has the right idea that glow sticks wouldn't cause a blue haze, unless there's stage fog, they are missing it. Ari's legs light up as her leggings were a bit too reflective here. The shot cuts at a different time than League's. You ready for this? Let's go. See. As Akali swipes the camera, it shakes, but the Enchanted Mob version misses that. One important thing Enchanted Mob is missing through the scene is the shakiness of the camera. It adds an air of instability and realistic feeling of being in a subway car. 
Let me tell you a little story regarding this shot. Go, go, go ahead, sit down, crisscross applesauce, whatever. As you may know, Seth, Zach P, Micah, and Alex pretty much created everything for this video. One day, while Seth and Zach were out for lunch during compositing, Micah and Alex snuck in a picture of John Lasseter in the window. I'm not sure why, but they did. Can we get an Alex and Micah sin counter, please? The wires aren't long enough in Enchanted Mob's subway car. Also, the added claw marks on the right side don't match League's video. Enchanted Mob's Ari does move in sync with League's Ari, but the starting position should have her arms pointed out more. As the heart approaches the screen, Enchanted Mob misses the little smoke and glitter that embellishes League's. Not to mention EM's Ari's tails aren't blue enough, neither at the beginning of the scene or the pink inversion of it. I think Seth might be colorblind. Can you feel the rush now? Hey, Lee cuts to black before cutting to Akali, while Enchanted Mob directly cuts to Akali. Oopsie, Enchanted Mob forgot to make the rods holding the handles glow. Oopsie, part two. Enchanted Mob didn't make the design on the spray paint can the same color. League smoke is pink at the can, and blue all around, adding more colorful things to watch on screen, while Enchanted Mob smoke is gray, bleak, blech. Not only do Enchanted Mob's subway cars not light up the tunnel enough, but the light isn't coming from headlights. It just follows the front of them. Another legging shine. Did Ari oil her leggings before getting on stage? Enchanted Mod's version is missing the little smoke element that's supposed to be coming out of the spray paint nozzle. The flares aren't as bright, and the long exposure-esque light trails don't have nearly as much glow as they do in the original. Enchanted Mob's video phases through a light trail that goes across the screen, but League's video doesn't. Evelyn obviously missed her cue in the Enchanted Mob version, because she is not supposed to still be on screen here. One of the Kaisas that are in the League version doesn't show up in the Enchanted Mob version. I can't believe you missed one Kaisa out of the, like, 30 or so rigs in this scene. How could you? Enchanted Ma's video has too many light rods in the background. It's just too cluttered. They're so lazy. I can't believe they didn't place every single rod in the exact same spot as the original. Enchanted Mob is missing the flash of light before pulling away from the ball of rods. Either this is a straight rip from League, or Enchanted Mob did a beyond excellent job copying this. Knowing Enchanted Mob, they recreated it. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. What? Yeah. You're telling me they just used the one from the other video because they were running out of time? Yeah. Blasphemy! Enchanted Mob doesn't zoom out far enough on Ari here. League only shows about four instances of Kaisa when she uses her killer instinct, while Enchanted Mob has an almost constant trail behind her. Kaisa's trail has a transparent material on them, so you can see all the separate meshes. They could have just made a separate pass of the character and made it transparent in After Effects. Wait, they did that earlier in the video? Then what the heck is this all about? Enchanted Mob forgets to put the purple after image behind her in this leap. The red headlight trail is in the air in Enchanted Mob's video, but is on the ground in League. In the League version, Akali's mask has the mouth painted on it, but in the Enchanted Mob version, it doesn't. Can't believe you missed that, Seth. This is all your fault, Seth. In League's video, Akali hits the ground as the video flashes between dark neon and regular lighting, while Enchanted Mob's video is just a beat behind. Kaisa's wing gems glow blue in Enchanted Mob's video when they need to be magenta like in League's video. Evelyn is in front of the headlight trail when she needs to be behind it. Enchanted Mob forgot to change the color of Akali's sticks here. Or they just gave Akali some malfunctioning glow sticks. In conclusion, this video was extremely well done. The lighting mostly matched League's, and the choreography and timing were practically identical. Although the angles of the cameras were pretty inconsistent at some parts, and the hair dynamics would often just clip through the character's body parts. Other than that, this was a pretty well-made recreation and tribute to the original KDA music video.
no, 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 no. <laughs> Why am I stuck in traffic? Don't they know? Don't they know who I am? Yes, <laughs> y'all.